Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you a beach makeup look that won't be a bother when you go into the water and you won't have any black around your eye. So it'll be nice so you won't look like a crazy raccoon or anything. So yeah, it's just a very light look that you can wear to the beach and you can go swimming with and if you, you know, rub your eyes or anything, nothing will come out crazy or anything like that. So it's really, really, really good. So just keep watching for the tutorial! No, I'm actually recording this time. I just did the whole thing and I forgot to press record. So now I had to take off all my makeup and then restart, so. So first, before you do anything, make sure to apply SPF all over your face. It should be probably SPF 30 or up, just to protect it really, really well. So if you want, you can apply tinted moisturizer if you have redness or anything like that. But I am i don't really have any redness at the moment, so I'm not going to be applying tinted moisturizer. I'm just going to apply this Maybelline Cover Stick Concealer in medium beige. I'm just going to cover anything that I actually need to conceal a bit. Even though this is probably going to rub off in the water, it's still nice to, you know, have, like, to fix everything before you get into the water. You know, so if you're just chilling out on the beach, you can still look nice, but also not have makeup that will give you, like, a raccoon look. That's not cool. So yeah, I'm just going to apply this NYC Matte Powder Foundation. This is in Urban Light. I'm just going to apply this all over my face with a little kabuki brush. And again, this will probably rub off when you get into the water, but before, it's still nice to have. This is a e.l.f. blush, and this is in Candid Coral. Just going to apply that to the apple of my cheeks. Just a nice flush of color. Now I'm going to move on to the lips, and I'm just going to put on a tinted lip balm, so it's going to give you a nice color, but also protect your lips from the sun. This is just the Burt's Bees one in rhubarb and I've had this so long it's all messy and dirty and stuff just gonna give you a nice flush of color and now moving on to eyes we're just gonna be taking this elf cream eyeshadow in candlelight and just going to apply that all over your lid and if you want you can bring it into the inner corner it just brightens your eyes up more also the reason why I'm applying a like champagne-y white color is because if you put like a more darker color and you get into the water the darker color is going to come all over your eye and it's just going to make you look like a raccoon and that is not cool that's pretty much the eyeshadow and so next you're just going to be applying a clear mascara or waterproof mascara for me I would prefer a clear mascara because when I get out of the water or like when I just bought my head out of the water and I need to like rub my eyes when I get out of the water because I don't want water to be in there like not harshly rub but just kind of like like I don't know how to explain it but I sort of rub my eyes so there's no water and um, if I rub my eyes with black mascara or I'm not sure if waterproof would do that but just being safe um, there would be black all over my eyes and that would just not be very cool so I'm just going to apply a clear mascara Now once you've applied your mascara, you are completely done. So I hope that helped you guys, and I will be gone for a week, so I will see you guys in about a week or so, so yeah. Also, people have been asking me to do my makeup collection. Um, I'm not really very interested in doing that video, but later on you'll probably be seeing that video sometime. So, yeah. So you don't need, like, need to keep asking, it's alright. I know what you guys want, and you guys are going to see that video sometime, so... Yeah. <laughs> Bye.